Поехали. Today I want to talk about installing a phase set onto the H600 series microscope. Before we begin, I'd like to point out a few parts that we will be using uh, install when we're installing the phase set. One is, first is a field diaphragm. This will open and close the diaphragm on this lens housing. Second, there's two screws that can be used to center the condenser position in its holder. By rotating both of them at the same time, you can manage to put the condenser in center. This particular screw is used to hold the condenser in place or to secure it properly. This handle moves the condenser up or down. I already installed the face objectives that came with the face set. You will also receive a turret condenser that has a rotating turret matching the objective. There's a 100x, there's a 40x, 10x, and a zero bright spot for a bright spot. I left one 4x bright spot objective so we can use a bright field uh, to work with a microscope as well. You will also have two Allen keys. On the back of this condenser, when you set it, let's say to 10x, you will see two Allen screws. These two Allen screws can be manipulated by those keys to center the lens in its proper place. I will show you how it's done. And also a centering telescope. The centering telescope is installed in, in place of the regular eyepiece. And then by adjusting the height, you can put this lens in focus as well. All right. Now we're ready to assemble our scope. First of all, we need to remove the condenser. You need to bring the stage all the way up and you condense it all the way down. Release the condenser and carefully remove it from its holder. Take your face condenser, your face condenser has the guiding screw right here. Make sure it matches the groove. And again, carefully position it and secure with the same screw. All right. now, what you want to do is to bring your microscope into quick focus, just using the slide you have handy. Right. And bring your condenser all the way up. Close the field diaphragm. Look into the scope, you will see a small bright spot in the center of your field. If it's not in the center, use this two screw to position the center in the mid the condenser in the middle. Now let's switch to 10x phase and 10x on your face condenser. Take two Allen keys you receive with the face set and make sure they're catching into the Allen keys in the back of the face. You'll feel them when they catch onto the screws. Now we need to we forgot to place the centering telescope first. What you need to do is look inside and make sure you will see a bright ring and a sharp focus and secure it. Go back, use your Allen keys. Use your Allen keys right here. There's one and I have the same on the other side. 
to match, you'll see two rings inside your centering telescope. One is bright white light and another one is dark. You need to match those two rings. So the white ring is above the darker ring. The darker ring is slightly larger. It's okay if you see it overlapping and extending behind the white. You need to repeat the same thing with a 40x by using 40x and make a quick adjustment. Okay. And the same thing with a 100x. Quick adjustment. And you now ready to use your face microscope.